Let's talk about um, let's talk about Starship. You just had a really what appeared to be a phenomenal um, launch. H- how close is it to you know being predictable and ready to go in a commercial setting? I I, th- I think we'll recover the ship next year. Um, we've got one more launch of the. Um, Starlink version two uh, uh, stack. Uh, there's only one one uh, booster and ship left. That's in the version two uh, design, uh, and then thereafter it's it's version three, which is a gigantic upgrade because that's got Raptor three, um, and pretty much everything changes on the rocket with version three. Um, so version three, you know, might have some initial teething pains because uh, it's such a radical redesign. Uh, but uh, it's it's capable of over a hundred tons to orbit, fully reusable. Um, and I think it's I think I think um, unless we have some, unless we have some very major setbacks, uh, SpaceX will demonstrate uh, full reusability next year, uh, catching both the booster and the ship, um, and being able to deliver over a hundred tons to a useful orbit. What um, is the best rocket in the world do now in terms of tonnage to space? Uh, well, in terms of uh, sort of commercial rockets, there's, there's Falcon Heavy, yeah. uh, which we'll do uh, in um, w- with, with side booster reuse. Uh, we'll do about 40 tons. Mm. So this is five um, times and- bigger, yeah. Uh, well, two and a half times bigger, in, yeah. but but Starship would be full reuse, full reusability. Got it. Okay. Hey, so uh, everything comes back. 